Welcome to Adventures on a Dad Bike. I'm just doing a quick video to show that I've changed my cassette to an 1140. Still have the 4832 front, two by, which I really like. I have a pretty wide range now, 545% range on the large cassette, small chain ring. It's and my 38C tires. It represents a 21.9 inch gear inches. And on the 4811, which is my high gear, it's 119.81 gear inches, which gives me the 545% range. I really like two by, I get a really nice low range and a really nice high range. And because I live in a really hilly area, I do a lot of touring in a lot of hills. I like having a full range of gears. Put a road link on my Tiagra derailleur and it seems to be working. I didn't have to adjust the B-screw at all. So just go through it quickly. Small chain ring, moving through the cassette. There's small, small, still lots of room on the derailleur. I'm getting a little bit of chain rub on my front derailleur. Do a little bit of adjustment there. But I would never cross chain. And if I do cross chain, it's just by accident, which does happen. So I like to have the clearance. I don't want it to be too tight but then I get out of it pretty quickly. So I'm going to go on the large chain ring now and go through the gear change. Still lots of room all the way through here. Then we get on to the large large, which again, cross chaining and I wouldn't do. However, I still have lots of room. And when I do get here, and it sounds wrong, because again, it's rubbing on the derailleur here slightly, then I will just uh, get out of it. But I got a really nice range here. really like it. Works great. I've put about 100 kilometers on here since I've done it. And uh, it's great. The hills are good. I'm finding I'm spending a lot more time in each chain ring. I don't have to change my front nearly as much because I've got such a wide range. Instead of being a large chain on a 32, which would be cross-chaining on the 1132 cassette that was on here originally, I'm not cross-chaining until I get up to the 1136. 1136 is one, two, second one from the top, so it's not really technically cross-chaining and I don't really go there, but I've got that range. And it, it's, it's so much better. I think this is perfect for touring on this bike for me in this hilly area that I live with lots of bags on my bike. All right, we're on small, small. Going up. And going back down. So my small is 32 front, 40 in the rear, and then 11 in the rear for the high. Cross chaining, going to go up into the big chain ring now. And go through the range. So now I can go all the way up to the 4836 rear without it cross chaining. I mean it's borderline into that range but I can still do it. So I've got a full, pretty full range on this front chain ring, large. And then cross chain, and you can see I've still got lots of room. Lots of clearance, lots of room. Anyway, if you like this video, please hit that subscribe button, bell notification, and thanks for watching.